is Kansas City. Yeah. Shit's ran gritty. Yeah. In the summertime, the chicks be damn pretty. Yeah. Born in the projects, then to the Ville. Yeah. Hey you guys, it's me Bossy and today I'm back with a story time and this one should be a fun story time for you guys. It's about someone you guys love to hate. It is about Bob. Like I said, I wasn't going to do too many more stories about him because it's just stupid. Yeah, it happened a long time ago, y'all, and Bob is not who I'm with now. I haven't been with Bob in over 10 years. So just to let y'all know, this happened a very long time ago. But um, I don't even know what I'm going to name this story time. I do have on the same shirt that I had on in some other videos because, of course, being a busy mother, you have to record as much as you can in a day. Also, I'm using a new camera, so if you see me going in and out of focus, that's why. I'm just giving this disclaimer just to see if I want to continue to use this camera or not, which I'm not sure I will. It's the Canon T5i. I normally use my Canon T3i. We just going to see because I don't like this in and out focus. But anyway, this happened when Bob and I first had broken up and you know I had finally found a good job and you know because I had found a job I needed someone to keep my children because either Bob might have had a job or he was out in the streets doing whatever but I needed my kids to be in daycare so I had found a daycare to put my kids in one that my best friend uh, one of my best friends actually worked at so they had been going for a while and I had been um, you know, making my daycare payments every two weeks. I paid my daycare. Uh, I also got daycare assistance because I was like on, what is that? The government assistance back then, but I still did have to pay a certain amount, even though they paid some of it, I still did have to pay, uh, another part of it. I had been paying it, paying it and paying it. And so, uh, Bob for a while now had been calling me and texting me and harassing me uh, because let me backtrack some. Uh, once Bob and I broke up, I gave him chance after chance after chance to help me take care of the kids. I asked him to buy diapers. I asked him to buy clothes. I asked him to just buy wipes. Anything that my daughters needed, I asked him to provide for them and he would always fall through and not do it. Either my dad did it, I did it, or Bob's mom would do it. And he would never ever do it. And sometimes he even had a job, but he just seemed to not want to take care of his responsibilities. One day he's calling me and he's blowing up my phone and he's just texting me. And mind y'all, we're broken up. And I had been making my daycare payments on the regular, never had a, a late fee or any Thing. but he calls me or whatever and he's begging me to take him off child support because I put him on child support because he hadn't been helping me I'd given him enough time to find a job I'd given him enough time you know to help me take care of our three daughters like you had time to buy drugs you had time to buy liquor you had time to buy clothes you had time to be rolling around all around the town all day uh, I gave you time to show your uh responsible enough to take care of these kids but you failed and didn't show me so i eventually put that ass on child support he was calling me non-stop asking if i could take him off child support if are uh, and he still does this to this day y'all but asking me if i could take him off child support um he's gonna do right he's gonna you know he's gonna do right he's gonna do right please just take him off child support because mind y'all He'd end up having another kid right after that. The man wasn't stopping with these babies. So I'm like, look, Bob, I said, if you can help me pay daycare, I might think about seeing if I can get the arrears taken off, if you can show me something. But y'all, to be honest, I wasn't still gonna take him off child support. I'ma just keep it 100 with y'all. I told him that, but I wasn't gonna do it because I knew even if he did have a job and it, even if he did, uh, you know, pay this daycare, it wasn't gonna last. He wasn't consistent back then. You know, he was not a consistent. Honestly, he wasn't consistent with helping me with my daughters back then. So I told him that just to see if he would make this daycare payment. He was like, okay, okay, I'll show you, I'll show you. So 
Two weeks passed and daycare uh, was due. This dude even goes as far as calling and texting me that morning to tell me, Basima, I'm going to make sure that I go up to the daycare uh, before I go to work and I'm going to pay the daycare. And I'm like, okay, he sound really convincing, which he always used to sound convincing with his lying ass back in the day as well. But he sound really convincing. So I'm like, Okay, cool. So I'm getting kind of excited because I'm like, wow, I got some extra money that I can, you know, get the girl some more stuff with or even give me something. I'm at work that whole day or whatever. And I end up working overtime that day because he had told me his sister was going to pick up the girls, which she did. So I, uh, they asked if someone could stay a little longer. So I was like, sure, I can. But mind you, the daycare payments have to be in, um, I think, by seven o'clock on that Friday well mine's was anyway oh so because my daughters had gotten picked up and he had uh, told me that he was gonna pay it I'm thinking good I ain't got to go up there so before I had even left for work that day I end up texting Bob and I'm like hey Bob um, did you pay daycare like you said you was and you was he was like yeah I paid it I paid it and I was like okay cool did they give you a receipt and he was like yeah I got the receipt right here I'll give it to you whenever you get the girls and I was like okay cool so I was kind of surprised like this ninja really paid the daycare because you know he said he got a receipt I didn't think like I told him what can happen, you know, if I don't have my daycare paid at a certain time, I can have a late fee per child. And, you know, that can start racking up. But, um, over the weekend, you know, I finally get my girls. And then, of course, Monday comes back around. So Monday, I go ahead and I go take the girls to daycare. And when I go to daycare and I open the book to sign them in, I noticed that I have a note on my page that I normally never have. And when I opened uh, the note, it said that I was late on my daycare payment and I had a late fee. So my first reaction was what? How I get a late fee? This fool said he paid daycare. So then I get immediately upset and pissed the hell off. I'm like, Where's the owner? We're going to call her Miss Miss Pam. So I'm like, where's Miss Pam at? And they was like, she's in the back office. So I go back there and I'm like, Miss Pam, why do I have a late fee? In the back of my head, I knew what really happened. So I'm like, why do I have a late fee? Um, my girls, their dad, he said he paid. And she was like, Basima, he didn't pay no daycare. Um, he didn't come up here and pay. I'm like, Miss Pam, he told me he came up here and paid and got a receipt and everything. He didn't come up here and pay daycare. And she was like, no, Basima, he didn't. She was like, and you know, I know you're faithful and making your payments all the time and you've never missed a payment. So due to the situation, she was like, I will go ahead and waive your late fee but you do need to still go ahead and pay the daycare by the uh, close of my business hours today so I was like okay cool I can do that because I still did have some money because I had been trying to save money and stack for a car because my dad had been taking me to and from work so I needed to you know save money for a car so that's what I had been doing but I was like shoot I gotta pay daycare so I kind of dipped into some of my car money so anyway I told her I'll be back up here before you close for the day to make sure my payment is in the the drop box so I'm leaving out of there I get in the car with my daddy and he was like what's wrong why are you looking like that I'm like he didn't even pay daycare so then I'm mad and I'm almost crying like he ain't never gonna do right like he didn't even pay daycare he lied and told me he had a receipt and all this and that and you know my daddy he's you know just talking a bunch of crap about him cuz y'all my daddy never cared for him too much at all actually and so I call him while I'm in the car with my daddy and he doesn't answer. Then I text him like, Bob, uh, I thought you paid daycare. And he was like, I did. I said, no, you didn't. I said, I just came from up at the daycare and they said you did not pay it. And you hadn't even been up there at all that day, nor did you get a receipt. I was like, so why would you lie? Now I have a late fee and I, I lied to him about how much the late fee was so he could feel bad. But shit, he still didn't even give a damn about that. 
And he was like, I was like, see, that's why I'm never taking your ass off child support. You a liar. You ain't never going to change. These are your kids. I asked you to do one thing and you expect me to take you off child support. That ain't never going to happen. So next thing you know, he ends up texting me a little while later. I mean, I was pissed. I was just texting paragraphs. He texts me back later. By the time he texts me back, I finally made it to work. And he's like, forget you. I don't give a damn. I'll have one of my chicks beat your ass. You know, basically talking about I ain't shit. And just trying to go in on me. And he was like, anyway, you be having my kids looking all kind of ways. My kids be looking dusty. My kids be looking this and looking that. I said, hold up. After that, when I read that, when he started bringing in how I have my kids looking, how I did this. This had to do with you not paying daycare. Don't start trying to come for my, my mother. Once I was able to go on break, oh, I went and called him. Called him and called him. He didn't answer. Finally, that last time he answered. I said, who, 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 whose kids look dusty? You talking about your own kids? My kids look dusty? How do we go from talking about you not paying the daycare um, to my kids being dusty. I said my daughters are far from dusty. Just because I don't go buy them uh, every pair of Jordans that come out all the time. My kids have clean clothes. My kids go to daycare smelling good every day. I make sure my kids hair stays braided. I said be just because I'm not doing what you want me to do with my money and just because I'm not taking you off child support don't mean a motherfucking thing. I told you I'm still a good parent. He pissed me off. Even to this day if he ever said something about my parents and skills, I will go in on him because he can never, ever come for me when I take care of all my kids. We going back and forth and I'm not trying to be real loud because I'm in the break room. It's not like I, I can just go to my car and talk in the car because I didn't have a car back then. All of this, all of this, and you want me to take you off of the arrears for child support? Nigga, hell no. So finally, I just end up hanging up. And by the time I got off work, I had a bunch of stupid text messages from him talking about you better take me off or I'm going to have somebody jump you. So finally, I'm, I'm getting fed up again. And like I have a temper, especially when it comes to that dude, like he can take me from zero to 100 real quick for real. I call him. I'm like, I would appreciate if you would stop sending me this stupid stuff. I'm not taking you off child support at all until these kids are of age where you don't have to pay it no more. And I said, do you know I had to pay a high ass late fee because you actually sat there and lied. You made me look embarrassed. You made me look stupid. You had me looking crazy out here. Why would you lie? What, what did that make you feel like? Why would you go that far as to say you paid it, had me going up there and then boom, the next week I have a late fee and all of this stuff. And then people outside of our situation have to start seeing this because now you lying and I got to tell this lady, well, he said he was going to pay it. He said he got a receipt. Like doing all of this, you go that far to lie. I said, you messing with my money. I said, why are you doing this? He was just like, you a fat hoe. Ain't nobody out here going to ever fuck with you. Your kids is dusty. And I'm thinking, do you see how stupid you sound? Do you really? These are your children. These are your children. I'm a single mother of three girls. I just started this job. I'm not about to have my kids out here flashy, even if I had all the money in the world. I don't have to have my kids out here flashy. If I want them to wear certain stuff, they will wear certain stuff. I said, but don't be coming for me talking about my kids are dusty. What kind of stupid ass parent says that about their own damn kids? Then this dude has the nerve to say, because he moves on quick. He had already went on to the next chick He's with this next chick and she already had, I think maybe two or three children, which weren't his, but, um, I think he ended up having a kid. Did he have a kid by this chick? It might've been one of his baby mamas. I don't know all of his baby mamas like that because he got a lot of them, but then he tells me my new kids, my new kids all of this, he's saying to the mother of his three children, my new kids look better than your kids. And I'm thinking, you are 20 
two years old and you sound like a freaking idiot. Do you hear how you talking? Like he was pissing me off. You don't ever talk about my kids, your kids at that. Talking about your kids is dusty. This girl probably got another, other baby daddies taking care of their kids. It ain't your, it ain't you that's keeping their kids looking a certain way. Cause your ass ain't got no money. I said, it's not you that's got their kids looking like that to where finally, I was just like, you know what? Let me get off this phone. I ended up calling his mother to let her know what he had did. And, you know, she was just like, you know, kind of upset. You can hear she was upset about it because what if I didn't have the money to pay the daycare? What if my dad didn't have it? What if his mom didn't have it? Because those are the two people that helped me. And of course my mom helped me as well. But what if she didn't have it either? I'm like, then what my kids can't go to daycare i don't have anyone to watch them and then i lose my job he didn't even think about stuff like that he was just thinking of a way that he could lie his way around i guess he uh thought they weren't going to tell me that i did not pay my daycare payment like and i hope i've been saying daycare payment and not child support when i shouldn't have been anyway y'all these stories kind of pissed me off, even though they happened a long time ago, because like I said, when it come to my kids, I don't play them games. Yeah, you know, she said she would talk to him and all this and that. And my whole thing was, I'm thinking, even if you talk to him, it's not going to change nothing. Your son is a different type of breed. So I don't even know. But uh, what she did tell me is that since that did happen, the next time daycare is due, that she was going to go ahead and pay the daycare, which she did because she knew her son wasn't right with some of the stuff he did. He would lie and tell her certain stuff, making it seem like I was lying because she did try to step in where he fell short. But the problem is he should have never fallen short because he didn't even have as many kids as he has now. So he could have done what he should have been doing. My whole thing is if you had been doing what you were supposed to do from the jump, you probably never would have been on child support because my father, y'all, him and my mother, yes, they were married. But once they got a divorce, do you think my mother put him on child support? No, never, ever. Because my daddy took care of us like no other. He made sure my hair stayed done. We had the newest shoes, the newest clothes, um, the nicest rooms. We had everything we needed and our parents weren't together anymore. This fool still couldn't get it that even if you're not with the baby mama, you still take care of the kids. But shoot, I should have known because even when he was with the baby mama, he didn't do that much for the kids, which was my dumb fault for staying with him and laying down and getting knocked up multiple times by the bobster. In the end, you know, he never ever paid daycare again. I always made sure to pay daycare. After that, I never ever received another late fee i always had my payments when they needed to be in they were in because the thing was y'all that now that we had broken up and i guess he wanted me to be sad i guess he wanted me to fail like it wasn't gonna happen after we broke up i got a new job i got a good job i eventually got my first own car that i owned myself um you know, I still had my own place. I even end up upgrading to another place. Um, eventually, of course, I found a man that loved me and my kids unconditionally. And he was salty for a long time because all he did was go from one girl, knocked her up, to the next girl, knocked her up, to the next girl, knocked her up, until he got to the amount of kids that he has now. Every kid is a blessing and it's not the kid's fault, but this dude, Back then, he was a mess. Honestly, I don't know how he is too much now to these, these days, but I never will ask him to pay a dance lesson because, I, hell, I don't know. I can't say he's still like that, but I still, I pay the dance lessons or his mom would pay the dance lessons. I never ask him to pay anything important. If he does something out of the kindness of his heart for my daughters and just buys it, then that's what he does. But I still just don't even ask. I don't even, I just make sure I'm mama. I do everything. I make sure they have everything they need. And if I tell them, I tell them about it. If I don't, I don't, which y'all honestly, it's not a good thing that I don't tell him some stuff with my kids because even though from all the stuff he used to do in the past, that's still their dad. And so like some important stuff <laughs> that 
that he probably should know. I forget that I got a baby daddy, so I don't even think to tell him. And then I feel like, dang, I do. they do got a daddy. I do need to tell him some of this important stuff. But my mind is just thinking, he's not going to do nothing about it. So why even waste your time? But you mature, you get wiser, and you try to be re more responsible. So I try now to give him information. I hope you enjoyed the story. Might not have been anything too exciting um, because... Um, you know, the chicks that get involved, like all the chicks he cheated on me with and all of that, some of them stories is just like, it's not even worth telling it because it's pointless. He cheated on me, I stayed, that's it, boom. Please make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye loves.